Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to talk about is water. Because I haven't spoken about it very often on this channel, and water is very important when it comes to survival, as everyone knows, especially in a crisis situation. Because, as most people know, you can survive 8 to 21 days without food, but a person generally only lives about 3 days without water before they die of dehydration. So, if you're looking for self-sufficiency during an emergency or a disaster, food is important, of course, for you and your family. But access to some form of drinking water is an issue that will be even more important, and it will be more important sooner. So I'm going to show you how I handle these water issues, and hopefully it will give you some ideas of how to handle your own. First of all, I have water resources here on the homestead. I have a well, and I have a pond. Here's a quick look at my pond. It is nicely shaded, and I like that. It's fed by a small creek that comes through. So the water does get algae on it. You might be able to see that. But it doesn't really get stagnant, which is good. It's got all types of fish in it. Waterfowl, deer, wild hogs, ducks, all type of animals and creatures come through. Lots of mosquitoes. And they use this pond. So it's my first source of drinking water if an emergency was to hit and if something was to happen to my well. Here is a quick look at my well house. Some of my other videos I have shown you the inside. So we'll just do a quick look at this just to let you know for those who may not have seen my videos before what my well house looks like. The well is, of course, inside. Now that water is safe to drink. Even though I do run it through a filtration system, it is safe to drink. We've had it tested, so that's good, decent water. So what if I have to use my pond, or if I have to collect rainwater and use that to drink? Well, of course, it's not drinkable just the way it is. You're going to have to purify it. How do you do that? Well, shoestring has several ways. First of all, he has these life straws. I pick these because they're relatively inexpensive, and they are really, really good, and they've been tested. They work well. So one for me, one for Miss Shoestring, of course. Also, there is purification tablets. Let me show you these. These are Coleman. There's all types of different ones, but I've tested some, and I like these the best. Mostly because they don't give you that iodine taste that a lot of purification pills do. You want to look at them, pick the type that's right for you. Life straws, you can drink the water right after you've put it in. What if you have bigger, larger needs, like for a large family? I also have some family life straws. Hopefully you can see the package well. All right, it takes care of it purifies, take care of all the biological problems that could be in the water. See right there, purifies a minimum 18,000 liters of water. And it will say on there, it good for about three years. Okay, now what that means three years worth of water for you and your family. Three years of safe drinking water. Okay, also... What I like about this one, it has no batteries, and it has no replacement parts. You just take it out of the package, hang it up, put the water in from whatever source you have, let it drip to the bottom, and you have wonderful drinking water. So I do recommend the Life Straws. I like those. They've been tested. They work really well overseas, and they work quickly. Let's say you don't have that type of resources. You can't get water at all on your at home. Then you're going to have to store it. There are several ways to store it. I have bottled water and I have jugs as well, but a lot of people like to store these. This is from Walmart, great value. I don't like these jugs here because they have a tendency to break. So you use the smaller water bottles or you can get larger jugs to hold water. I have some get seven gallon jugs that I'll take these, and pour it into, and get it all set so the water can store that way. 
All right, and here's where I keep some of the cases of my bottled water. I keep 8 to 12 cases normally at any one time. Just for there is an emergency, we can have some water. It is all purified water from several different stores. Also, go down over here, is uh, some water I keep. This is purified water that can be kept up to three or four years. To show you what this back looks like. It will hold seven gallons. And I keep several of these in several different locations. No, nobody gets to see everything. But I'm just showing you how I do some of my water storage. Now I take the water from gallon jugs that's purified from some of the stores. And then I pour it in here, put in some water stabilization. Now keep it good for up to five years. Here is what my water preserver looks like. You take about five to ten drops of this and you put it into the water that you've poured in here into your jug, whichever, however you're holding your water, and you'll keep it good up to five years. So, uh, and I've tried it. It works well. We had two of these put away for about three years when we had a hurricane come by and knock the power out for a while. We pulled a couple out, put them in the kitchen to see how they worked, and it works really well. So this water preserver does in fact work, okay? And it'll tell you different amounts to put in for what type of water. And make sure if you're going to store water long term, you use something like this. Look it up, research it, pick out the one that's best for you guys. All right, now that we looked at my jugs, the seven-gallon ones, as you can see from the date, they're definitely going to need to be rotated. We're going to start working on that right now. And we talked about how to keep the water good for several years, right? So you want some type of water preserver. All right, so that's the first conversation we're having here about water. We'll have other ones. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like. And put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make. Things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.